So we found a pushdown automaton for the language of balanced sets of parentheses with accepting state Q1. Let's verify it works. Remember, if you don't find your mistakes, someone else will. So let's consider an expression like this, which should be accepted. So we'll start in state Q0. Our string is the full string, and our stack just has the empty stack symbol. So we're in state Q0. The symbol we read is open parenthesis, and the stack symbol is Z0. And so our delta transition tells us we stay in state Q0 and replace the stack symbol with open parenthesis Z0. Next, the first symbol of our string is open parenthesis. The top symbol of the stack is open parenthesis. And our delta transition says that we'll replace that open parenthesis with a double parenthesis and stay in state Q0. Next, our string symbol is closed parenthesis. Our stack symbol is open parenthesis, so we replace it with the empty string and change to state Q1. In Q1, reading an open parenthesis when there's an open parenthesis in our stack gives us two open parentheses and sets us back to state Q0. In Q0, Reading closed parenthesis when there's an open parenthesis in the stack means that open parenthesis in the stack is replaced by the empty string, and we change to state Q1. Again, close parenthesis in the string and open parenthesis in the stack means that it's replaced. And finally, we're in state Q1. Our string is the empty string, and our stack is empty, and so we have entered an accepting state with no further transitions. Let's see what happens if we have an unbalanced string. So if we have an unbalanced string, we would go through our initial state Q0, our string, and our stack. And we have initial state Q0, string symbol open parentheses, stack symbol Z0, and so that puts us into open parentheses Z0. String symbol open parentheses, stack symbol open parentheses, produces double parenthesis. If we're in state Q0, read close parenthesis and our stack symbol is open parenthesis, then we'll drop that and switch to state Q1. And we're now at the empty string. Now remember, a non-deterministic pushdown automaton always makes the right decision. So in this case, we need to make a lambda transition from state Q1 to state Q0 which is not an accepting state, but there's no more string to process. And so at this point, we crash. While we could do this, it's kind of ugly. It requires additional set of states and transition function values. And it should also be disquieting that we rely on the transition function doing the right thing and taking the final lambda transition. So is there an alternative? Well, let's think about this. Suppose we read the last close parentheses in a balanced string. Then two things have to happen. The stack will be empty, and the string will be empty. And we can describe our automaton as being in some state with an empty string and an empty stack. Where even though our stack still has the start symbol Z0, we'll simply write lambda instead of lambda Z0. As written, we could get there from Q0, close open, derives Q1, lambda, lambda, or Q1, close open, derives Q1, lambda, lambda. But we only introduce Q1 as an accepting state, so what if we drop it? So again, let's consider that first string. Again, we'll start in state Q0, with the string and the empty stack. Our first symbol is the open parenthesis, which will get dropped onto the stack. Our next symbol, also an open parenthesis, so we'll drop that onto the stack. 
Our next symbol is close parentheses, so we'll drop one of the open parentheses. We have another open parenthesis, so that'll get added to the stack. The close parentheses will cancel out one of the open parentheses. The close parentheses will cancel out one of the open parentheses. And now we're left with an empty string and an empty stack, where, again, we'll write lambda instead of lambda z naught. Meanwhile, an unbalanced string would take us through open parenthesis gets dropped onto the stack, open parenthesis gets dropped onto the stack, close parenthesis takes care of one of those, but now we have an empty string but not an empty stack. And this suggests a string could be accepted if it empties the stack. And so we introduce the following definition. A pushdown automaton accepts by empty stack if, after all lambda transitions are executed, it reaches a configuration some state with empty string and empty stack. So we'll take a look at the implications of this new type of acceptance next.